Welcome to Stokes Island North. My name is Andrew. I'm here at Stokes Island North and I'm about to introduce you to you the brand new 2018 Honda Odyssey. Right here we have the Honda Odyssey Elite which is the top of the line which has a lot of new features. Okay, as you can tell you have the LED headlights, you have daytime running lights, you also have fog lights as well and right here is the front sensor to let you know that you know if you're about to come hit something. Also underneath you have the active shuttle guard right here. So what that does is help cool off the engine and also help with the aerodynamics of the vehicle. Of course as you can tell the aerodynamics and the ergonomics of the vehicle is better redesigned. So coming here you can see it has 18 inch rims, you have nitrogen tires, you have splash guards, you still have your turning signal light indicator here to let you know the opposing traffic let you know which side you're going. On the Touring Elite you also have the new folding mirrors on the Elite. And then on the front windshield you'll see your Honda Sensing which is a front windshield mounted camera and in the front there's also a sensor as well. On here you have your sensors on the inside. So if you have the key fob, all you have to do is put your hand through and it automatically unlock. This black button here will make the door lock. Oops. And since we're here, the newly redesigned Honda Odyssey has a wider space for entry for the second row. Also, it's the lowest in minivan step height. And back here, you have the backup camera. And you also have a access entry point here and a locking button. Then you also have sensors in the back. So when you're reversing, you can see you know, what you're looking at, which is that multi-view. You have wide, narrow, and bird's eye view, which is Honda only. Also with the you could a Honda Odyssey, you can actually set this to a certain height. So if you're taller or shorter, you can set it, lower it, press and hold it, wait for the double beat, and it'll be set to your height. So if you have a taller, short garage, you could set it to a certain height that you like. In here, you have the HVAC Honda vacuum. Okay. So you have, of course, the hose, and you have two different head units. Here's the on and off button. That's pretty sweet. And the vacuum. That's cool. And of course you have a uh, 12 volt back here. And here we have the folding seats for more storage space. Nice. As well as you can see here you have extra rear shutters so you can actually make it more dimmer or darker for long drives some of us of course know you know driving at Disneyland you use tower you know whatever you could utilize but now it's integrated in the Honda Odyssey there's also another power outlet and there's also another auxiliary or jack for the headphones one for the left and one for the right so you actually have a 10.2 inch rear display which I'll put down for you all right so you got the 10.2 rear entertainment system right here and above is a, a new designed cabin watch so the driver and the passenger mother or father parents grandparents you can actually see the kids or family members sitting in the back it also can actually see a rear faced uh, car seat or a child and if you're driving at night it actually has an infrared so you don't actually have to turn on the lights to see what they're doing so you can actually see them at night which is really nice also you have the acoustic windshield so it uh, lessens the noise also there is a piece of plastic which indicates that this vehicle model actually has active noise cancellation which on or off on the radio system it will still lessen the noise of the vehicle so you don't hear all that road noise coming to other ma manufacturers down here as well is an HDMI to 2.5 amp charging systems and of course you still have the arm bar and you still the armrest and you still have the kangaroo pouches nice. this also is uh, equipped with two 
wireless headsets. You have your controls right here for the rear entertainment. I mean, not the rear entertainment. The rear, you have your controls here for your AC or heat. These, this vehicle, the Touring Elite, actually has remote start. It has, it has, a, of course, a push to start button. It has driver one and driver two settings. It has power windows, power doors, power locks. You have your side mirrors. You have your blind spot indicators for the driver and the passenger. So when you're driving on the interstate or in the city, it will let you know or indicate that you cannot turn left or you cannot turn right. Okay. The front windshield mounted camera is the Honda Sensing. Okay. And here you have your electronic parking brake and you also have brake hold. The brake hold is newly innovated into the Honda Odyssey and the 2018 models and above where all you have to do is have your seat belt, engage the brake hold, and then all you have to do is let go of the brake and then press the gas to accelerate, making a smoother transition from brake to gas. Of course, here you have your on and off switch for the sliding doors. This is the gate hatch I was previously talking about. This is for your lane departure warning. This is your parking assist. This is your collision and mitigation braking system. And this is your traction control. Here, now you have your volume control where you can slide it down or you can slide it up for the volume. You have your source here. You have your toggle switch here as well after you do your presets on your radio station. Newly designed is the home button. So it could show you the apps here which you would want to use. And then pressing the back button will go back to the previous screen you were on. Also here is Bluetooth and wireless streaming compatible so you can answer, hang up, and voice. This voice command button is actually used in two different ways. One is Honda and the second one with the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you have Apple, it'll be Siri and if you have Android, it'll be Google. Right here is how you use the Honda Sensing. Press the main button to activate the ac attempt we with adaptive cruise control or the lane keeping assist. This is a lane keeping assist. This is the the distance you would like to keep from the car in front of you. And of course, if you'd like to turn it off, just press and hold, and it'll go to cruise control, uh, the traditional cruise control. To put it back, just press and hold it, and it'll go back to the new Honda Sensing adaptive cruise control. We have some cool new features as well. You have on the rear view mirror your home link for your garage. There's the you know the dimmer switch of course, and now you have Honda Link, which you can get with a concierge package where you can actually access an agent 24 seven. And then this is the call button. So just in case if you need roadside assistance, you can call them and someone can come to you rather than going on your phone. Okay, you have your touch screen with a knob, volume knob. Of course, the layout is a little different. You have your phone, navigation, Garmin, and you could zoom in and zoom out with a pinch. Here's your phone, your FM, and then home screen. You have navigation, phone, the rear entertainment. With the rear entertainment, you can allow what you'd like to listen to. So you have your front driver and passenger, they can listen to the radio. The second and third can listen to the Blu-ray DVD player. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Trip Computer, text messaging. It can actually read your text messages to you, satellite radio, and it also has system updates. And it'll actually push it towards your cell phone if you have a paired Bluetooth or through the Apple CarPlay. These are the headsets and the remote, wireless remote. Still brand new, of course. But down here you have the smartphone connection and the auxiliary 2.5. Also, this is not now not removable. Okay. Since most consumers never removed it. We have four cup holders and a storage bin for movies, 
and the headphones. Also, this is new. You no longer have a gear shifter, but if you want to go in reverse, just press the brake and then the reverse button, and then it'll go in reverse. You have your wide, narrow, and bird's eye view of the camera. This right here is a cross traffic camera, letting you know if there's a car coming from your left or right side, it'll indicate, it'll beep, and let you know which side it's coming from, left or right. And this one will also let you know your sensors.